Hey there, Carolyn Herforth here, founder of Evolve Accelerator. And say, I wanted to go live today. Hi, hi. I wanted to go live today because I have been getting some questions around business models and people wondering, and here I am, sorry. <laughs> and people wondering, you know, is it hard? Is it, is it, is it a monumental task to design a business model? And the answer is it can be, um, or it can be quite simple. It depends on the level of nuance and things that you want. So that's what I'm here for today to just answer that question about whether or not it's a monumental task to design a business model. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so first of all, and I'm going to just put, let me see. Can I post in here while I'm doing this? Yes, I can. Okay, I want to. I, I want to. Um, in case you are short of patience and don't want to watch an entire Facebook Live, um, I'm going to put a resource in here that teaches you the first step, and not the first step, but it it teaches you how business models and all the other pillars of your business fit together. So. Um, for those of you coming on, I'm Carolyn Herforth, and I'm the founder of Evolve Accelerator. And the question today is, is it a monumental task to design a business model? Because it sure sounds like it. So I want to start by saying a business model is a very businessy term for how you package and price your services. So it's very simple. That's what it is. And uh, it helps you look at your value streams and how you want to deliver to the people who you serve. So, hey there, I and so 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 it can be a monumental task, but I'm going to give you some tips today that help you figure out how to do this and make it less onerous and less monumental. So there are there are five pillars in a business and to making a profitable business and creating your business model is the very, very first thing that you need to do. And so to simplify this, what you want to do is, again, remember your business model is how you package and price your services. And so what we want to do is look at what is it you want to offer? What value you deliver? It all has to start with the value that you deliver. And then t and, and a step that you can take right now is to look at what is it I want to offer? And is what I offer, um, is, is what I offer, what leads up to it as good as what it goes to and then what's the next thing after that and the reason this topic is so important is I'll tell you a little story um, I've been in business for a long time but the first business I owned was a franchise and so my business model was baked it was already figured out for me I didn't have to figure out how do I get leads how what do I sell how much do I charge what's it look like and and so I had someone else doing all of that work for me. I didn't have to do it myself. So imagine my freaking surprise when I had to, when I started my this business, um, and I had to figure out what am I going to offer? What's that look like? And how much do I charge? And all of the things that go into making those business decisions that we're maybe not familiar with because we came from a job or... Um, owned something else that was already figured out for us. So this is, you know, it's that age old question. So what happened is when I started um, my, this company, I had a coach who just said, you know, start this boot camp, just do this boot camp. And she kind of spoon fed, like create this free offer. And then it was go create this boot camp and then go do this. But none of it connected, none of it, none of it made sense. And so what I want you to do um, to help make this less of a monumental task is to think about, first of all, what is it you really, really want to offer? What's the thing that's going to help you meet your, at least your short-term goals the most quickly? And so if you can start there, that's the first thing. For most people I deal with, it's probably a high-touch offer. And so... Um, 
So that is the, the first thing that you want to do. And then back into it from there. Is there something that someone needs to learn or know before they get to that? Is there something that, um, that is a missing link or a piece of education that they need before they get to that point, before they're ready for that? And so putting together, and the, the quickie course, I'm just going to point out in the comments, I put together a quickie course that just walks you through this. For those of you who are just coming on, I'm Carolyn Herforth, founder of Evolve Accelerator. And, um, and so really, it doesn't have to be a man monumental task. If you can just look at what your end game is, and then back into each of those things, and think about what questions you need to answer, and how you want to deliver it, those are the things that will help you start identifying what your value streams are. And the value stream is um, can include marketing tools, it can be things that are free, it could be group programs, it could be a membership, it could be you know, uh, live coaching, VIP, one-on-one -on -one coaching. It could be a lot of different things. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different ways that you can deliver your offers to people. And so if you download the quickie course, it'll walk you through like the low touch, medium touch, high touch very quickly, just give you a template for being able to look at your own offers and start assessing is our my value streams actually valuable? Is this something that people want? Is it something that um, makes sense in the overall scheme of things and the overall strategy that you're delivering? So super simple. I just want to come on to make sure that you have a resource. The great thing about the quickie source uh, resource or the quickie source, easy for me to say, um, it starts, it walks you through all five of the pillars. So not only does it teach you um, and, and get you started on looking at your business model and helping you break it down so that it's not such a monumental task. It also takes you through the other pillars that, that tie into your business model and make everything tie together and everything work together like kumbaya together. So that's it. That's all I've got for you today. That's all I've got time for today. And I'll come back. I'll do another Facebook Live or two or three or a hundred to make sure that you're getting what you need to understand what it takes to um, really make some reliable moolah in your business. All right. Thanks. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.